Hi, yeah, this is just a short demonstration of removing paper from West Board foam board. This is the stuff you buy in the range and art shops. It's quite thick and heavy, uh, almost card on the surface. It's very shiny. It's not the same as flight test foam board, which is very paper on the outside. This is more card. So I've got a couple of small scraps. Uh, first, I'm going to show you wetting it with just plain water. So, got a kitchen towel here. And I'll try wetting it with this one side. I'm just going to let that really wet, wet in. Hopefully. Now, the, the, the west board is actually fairly waterproof if you get water splashed on your models as long as you wipe it off pretty quickly it doesn't get uh, affected too much so I'm going to put plenty on here lots of lots of wet and I'm going to leave the towel there now I've also got isoprono alcohol and I'm going to do the same wipe that water off because this patch I'm going to Soak it in isoprono alcohol. And obviously it's harder to soak in isoprono alcohol because basically it drips, it evaporates off, but there's loads on there now. So I'm going to leave that for a moment. Oh, stinky. And uh, I'll leave that soaking. Let the water carry on. I can see it's taking at the edges here. It's starting to change colour, so it's obviously getting in at the edges. Right, so I want to get in on this ice pro alcohol, get it off my table. It's so mm. it's so uh, stinky and obviously I'm breathing it in at the moment. Right, so let's let's try and peel this off with ice pro alcohol. A lot of people say it will release the glue, as you can see. It's sort of, it's hard work, you've got to use a lot of ice protocol. Actually, it's working better than normal. I didn't, previously I've had trouble with this. So isoprotocol is working, but you're using a lot of it, and it's quite expensive. Ah. Uh, yeah, it's not wanting to come off that easy. Well, there you go. It is coming off. But I'm high from the high from the fumes, I think, already. And that was a lot of isoprene alcohol for a small section. Like that. Okay, so obviously I previously I've never doused it quite so heavily. So okay. That's off with ice prone alcohol and I am high as a kite. <laughs> Let's try the water one. So this has been soaking in the water. Let's try and get the edge. No, look, it's just breaking up. I don't know if you can see, it's just breaking up into fibres and you can be here. You can get it off, but you'll be here all day doing this sort of movement. Just trying to get it off. Now, water is definitely not the way to go forward. I'm surprised the alcohol worked so well, to be honest. Previously, I'd not had much success. So alcohol, yes. Water, absolutely not. It's awful at it. Let me put the top on that. Uh, is that dry from the alcohol? Pretty much. Right, so another piece of foam board. Same stuff, it's just off the off cuts and I've got an iron that's been warming up household iron set to nylon so it's it's pretty I don't know if you can see that it's set to synthetics just above synthetics so I'm just going to rub that over the top of the uh, the foam board leave it on there for a little bit longer I might have to turn it up a little bit hotter but you don't want it super hot. You don't want it cotton hot or something like that because it will melt the 
the underline is coming. So just let that soak in a little bit to release the glue. Oh, surprise that alcohol. There we go. And you can see that's releasing nicely now. I can just carry on now and fold that back. And I'm, as I work my way through. That's definitely the easiest way of doing it. I'll set that in a little bit more with the temperature. And that's it off with wheel and iron. So I definitely say the iron is the best method, especially if you're doing a lot, because the alcohol you just you'll be high as a kite by the time you finish. Water, absolutely awful. Alcohol works expensive and messy, but an iron works sweet as a nut. <laughs>